If you're looking for fancy advanced skills, you are watching the wrong video, you're on the wrong channel. My purpose as a trainer is to make you a better player on the field. So I will only encourage you to use moves that will actually work for you and that will actually help you beat more players consistently so you can be a productive player who creates more chances for their team. So focus on being productive and efficient with your dribbling rather than fancy and ineffective. With that in mind, here are eight skill moves you can use to beat more defenders. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Move number one is just a simple change of direction. Instead of always worrying about the defender, just focus on attacking the space. If you can learn to simplify your dribbling, you're gonna beat more players right away. You can take this move to the next level by changing your pace as well as your direction. Number two is a cross body drag. So here you're going to open up your hips like you're almost gonna play a pass or dribble in the other direction. Then you're gonna drag it across your body away from the defender. Number three is an outside skip. This is a move I use all the time when I'm playing. And instead of the change of direction where you were taking your touch at about a 45 degree angle, here you're going at a 90 degree angle and you're basically avoiding the lunge of the defender. So getting away from him and then quickly moving past him. Number four, La Croqueta. This was made famous by Iniesta a few years ago, but you see players use it all the time. Basically, it's a very quick touch from your left to right or right to left foot. Again, you're trying to avoid the lunge of the defender's tackle. Do it quickly, you're basically passing that ball as quickly as you can from one foot to the other. Number five is a single body feint. So you're basically making a hard step beside the ball. Now you're not just stepping, you're trying to shake the defender with your movement. So really throw the defender with your leg, with your body, and even your eyes.
number six is taking the last move to the next level. It's just a double body feint. So again, you're really stepping hard to each side of the ball, trying to shift the defender, get him off balance, and then quickly accelerating into the space you have created. number seven is a step over similar to the body feint here you're putting your foot around the ball again you want to shift the defender with your foot with your body and your eyes really get him off balance and then you're going to quickly explode in the opposite direction Final move is a double step over. You want to try to do your step overs as quickly as possible while keeping good control and good balance. But you really want to force your defender to move and adjust to your movements. So remember, it's not just putting your foot around the ball, it's really selling your feints. Thank you so much for watching this video please remember to like and share and remember the importance of being an effective dribbler i want you to realize that being a good dribbler is more about the mindset than the actual skills obviously you need to have good touch and good technique but you need to have that mindset that when you get that ball at your feet you are attacking with purpose and pace a lot of times you don't even need moves you just need to attack that space and force defenders to chase you rather than worrying about them Thanks for checking out this video. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.